Okay, so before you set the date and time on the Dust Track DRX, go ahead and press the power button to turn it on. It's very important to check the time before every sampling session because you never know what might happen between other groups using instruments or if an instrument hadn't been used before or if the instrument's internal clock is just running a little slower than, than other devices. So it's always important to check the time before every sampling session to make sure that not only will your instrument be synced up properly with the data from other devices, but so that'll be synced up properly in your log and so that you'll know, um, you know, what really is occurring out there. Okay, so it's important to have um, a master clock for your, uh, for your sampling session. Um, I would advise to start from the time from your cell phone because um, a lot of the laptops, especially the ones that we're going to be checking out, um, they haven't been connected to the internet in a long time, so their times may be off. And uh, you, you may use your, your own laptops, but um, sometimes some devices might not connect. So it's just a good idea to um, start using a phone as a, to get the correct time, starting time, and then to sync your computer up with your phone. Um, when syncing your computer with your phone, I would recommend that you have uh, an app on your phone that allows you to see um, the full time, including the seconds, so that um, you'll be as precise as possible when um, syncing your computer's time to your phone. And at least um, on Windows, you can do that by cl clicking the change date and time settings. And then click change date and time. And uh, I can't do it on this computer because I don't have access, but then you would uh, have access to change it and um, say when a new minute ticks over on your phone, have that same minute ready to save and sync and uh, submit it. So once your computer is uh, synced up properly with your phone, you can either um, once again use your phone to sync with the DRX or you can use your computer to sync with the DRX. I'm using the, the computer because right now I'm recording with my phone. Okay, so on the DRX, you want to get handy dandy stylus and you want to go to setup and then settings. And date and time is highlighted. Uh, you can click anywhere on this highlight to select date and time. So I'll just click like right here, for example. All right, so right now, um, the highlighted portion is what you see up top. So you can actually click the highlighted portion again, which um, is what we're going to be doing. So to um, set the date, click the highlighted portion where it says current date. And then, obviously, I mean, chances are you know what date it is already, but so Monday the 8th, 2016, February 8th. So, let me check up here, February 8th, 2016, good. All right, that's all good, so you could either hit save or just go ahead and hit save. And now for the current time, we'll click that. Now this is where the precision comes in. So this is military time, just so you know. And right now, I haven't gone to one, so it's essentially still military time. So the upcoming minute is going to be 1241. So on here, I want zero seconds and minute 41. Now I'm gonna have my clicker on this save. I haven't pressed down yet, but when this hits the next minute, I'm going to press the save button. So once again, just hovering over it, ready to press down for 1242. And as soon as the clock strikes 1242, I'm gonna press it. All right, so I pressed it. 
and now it's saved for 1242. Now, um, the format is just for formatting uh, the numbers up here. So right now it's got month, month for two. It's got day, day for eight, and the year for 2016. I would recommend month, day, year, because that's how, how we're used to in, in America. For time format, it can either say 24, which represents military time, or AM, PM. But I'm pretty sure that switching to AM, PM doesn't change it to AM, PM in your data log. You still have military time in your data log. So I would just leave it for military time. I know it, it can be confusing sometimes using military time, but it's good for consistency just to have it... Um, just to have it display military time. Because, like I said, if you were to switch this to AM, PM, it'll show it up here, but in your log, it'll it'll be military time. So I would just recommend keeping that as, mil as a military time. All right, so that is how you switch the date and time. Like I said, it's very important to, um, obviously you want the correct date, but even if you had if you had the wrong date, that's you know that's fairly easy to remedy. But if you have the wrong time, that can that can really muddle things up for you, and it can become uh, it can become a, a real hassle. So make sure that your date, I mean your time, is the same. By the way, you should always make sure after you set the time that it's synced up to your master clock. So that, for instance, wait until the, the following minute after you set it starts and make sure that it, um, it switches over at the same time as your master clock. Thank you.